Hey everybody, it's the Southern Gospel Gardener welcoming you to another episode of The Opening Act. And it is a chilly, windy day here in January. Well, chilly by our standards. It's about 60 degrees right now. And uh, we are glad, I am glad that you are here and part of this program as we spotlight today The Hoppers and their album called Count Me In. I know you're going to enjoy the music on this program. And also, we're going to be doing some things that's going to add some color to our yard, just like this coral bark Japanese maple that's behind me. In the winter, when all the leaves are off, it's nice bright red. We're going to add color like that to our yard today. And I want you to listen to some great music, watch, see if you can get some good tips for your own garden. And we're going to have a lot of fun if we can keep the wind down and keep it from, you know, distorting all the noise. So I'm going to apologize and... Uh, right here at the beginning for that, but uh, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna punch right through it. We're gonna have some fun. Let's go. Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do on this episode is take out this little peach tree. This was a peach tree that we put in last year, and this happens to be an area that gets really wet really boggy. Uh, I don't water too much, but water tends to come from someplace else in too much amount, and so it just kind of bleeds over to my yard. So this becomes a nice wet area. Well, fruit trees, they don't like boggy areas, and it ended up dying and losing all its leaves uh, before the fall came, which is too bad it didn't survive its first year. But we're going to put something in here that does like a lot of water, and it's going to add a little bit of pop in the winter. Not so much in the summer, it's going to be just a regular old shrub. But before we do that, let's go ahead and start this out. And uh, while we're doing that, why don't we listen to a song called I'll Take You Home. So we've got our hole dug now, and so now it's time to put our plant in. And this is the plant that I've chosen for this area. This is a yellow twig dogwood shrub. Uh, you've seen them in trees or giant bushes, but this is, if you keep it trimmed, you make it a shrub. What I like about this is, a, is the pop that it gives the yard, these bright yellow branches. And so just like on the other corner, we've got uh, that red coral bark tree. Well, this will be a nice uh, change of pace, especially in between these two blueberry shrubs that I've got right here. Um, this uh, is going to have a lot of nice bright color in the winter because the blueberry shrubs have this bright red branch. Well, this will be a nice contrast with the bright yellow. And what I like about these dogwoods is they can handle a lot of water. They, they grow well in bogs. Well, that's what this is. So that's why we're going to put it here. Now while we're putting it here, uh, uh, we're going to play a song here by the Hoppers. It's the kickoff song on their album called Mighty is the Word. Now this was written by a guy named Robert Griffith. Now I don't know if you got to catch a group called the Griffiths in the mid to late 90's. Uh, they were traveling quite a bit. I know they were here in, out in California. Now if you don't know who they were, let me tell you, um, you, you might remember a tenor named Chris Collins. He sang with the Kingsmen in the mid-90s, and then he ended up getting married to Audrey Griffith, and so they, uh, he joined Audrey's group, the family group, the Griffiths, and they got to travel. Here's one of the songs that they sang while they were touring with Chris Collins, and it's called Mighty Is the Word. And I want you to listen to this song as we throw this into the ground, and uh, nice and gently with the bare roots, because it is a bare root, it's been sitting in a bucket of water. So let's get this in the ground while we listen to that song. It's the word. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It's the word. It is stronger than any weapon to hold. We can hide it in our hearts. We can have it on our lips. We can hold it in our hands. It's our defense. If there's a cause worth fighting for, let's sing it forth and tell the world it's sharper. And it's stronger. Now, 
Now, once you've got your bare root shrub in, uh, it's usually suggested you trim it all the way down uh, at about six inches from the ground. I really don't like doing that. Maybe 12 inches. Uh, just take a little bit off of it. Now, I know it's, it's counterintuitive. You buy a plant and then you start chopping it to death. But it's really for the good of the plant so that it can grow well. Uh, it actually encourages more growth. So uh, you want to do this as soon as you get it in the ground. And uh, we've got another project that's gonna we're gonna do it right here. So let's let's go over just this part of the yard right here. Here's that spot right here. And what I've got in my hands, this is called a creeping fig. Now this is a form of ivy that uh, actually can grow up fences uh, and poles without uh, you having to tie it only at the beginning. It has little roots that it'll sink into these posts and help it climb. And it gives us that, that kind of English Tudor look. Well, that's what I want to do with this particular post right here. So what I'm going to do is dig this area out right here and uh, plant this. And then we'll need to uh, just slightly tie it on until it uh, starts growing itself. And it'll grow up this post. And while we're doing that, here's a great song from this uh, album by the Hoppers. It's called, He Didn't Just Carry the Cross, He Carried Me. Oh, he Now I realize that this doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but these are pretty fast growers. And what you want to do is, once it's planted, put it in a nice tilt so that uh, it can kind of grow into this. Now the reason I had to plant it so far is because obviously it's a cement foundation. I could have put it in a pot, but uh, I want it to have its own natural roots and the natural soil. But now that I've got it leaning here, it's just gonna grab onto this as it starts to grow. And over the years, it'll climb up this pole and give the, the yard a nice natural look. All right, we've got a few more things to do. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a leaf blower. Not a very good one, but you know what? It gets the job done. And when these oak trees behind me start shedding all their leaves, oh, November, December, and they finally stop dropping leaves in the middle of January, then it's time to get this brother out and start blowing those leaves away. Not one of my favorite jobs, but you got to do it. Uh, and also, now's a good time to put in some gladiola bulbs here in January. These are going to come out in late spring to mid-summer or to early summer, and they're going to provide some really nice bright red colors, red flowers. And these are great cut flowers too. So uh, why don't we do some leaf blowing and plant a few bulbs. And while we're doing that, let's listen to the title cut of this album and my personal favorite song, written by what could arguably be the greatest gospel music songwriter of all time, Ronnie Henson. Count me in. When those heavenly gates swing open, count me in, count me in. You can count on me, me again. I will plant my brand new feet upon those golden streets. When they count me out down here, I'll live again. When those heavenly gates swing open, Starting to get chilly, dark, windy. I think a storm might be blowing in, so it might be time to wrap things up. But anyway, thanks again for joining me on this episode of the Southern Gospel Gardeners opening act, and I hope you've enjoyed the Hoppers Count Me In. Now do yourself a favor, go out to a concert and buy that CD. Thanks for joining me. See you later.